What's up great people? Welcome so much to Rongo Online TV and of course this is Peter Mongangi. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe, like and share. Of course, now this is the daily business tip. The daily business tip. On today, uh, on the daily business tip, I'm going to talk about two things. Uh, saving extra money. I'm going to give you a tip on saving extra money that I realized and I've been sharing with my friends. And the other thing is how to pay yourself from your own, own business. What do you think about that? So make sure that you follow this to the end. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and share. This is Peter Mwanganga. Of course, this is Rungo Online TV. Uh -huh. So now, uh, tip number one, uh, when it's about uh, uh, saving extra money. When I talk about extra money, do you ever get bonuses on, uh, from your place of work? Do you ever get uh, some money like from friends, uh, from relatives? They give you extra money. Maybe you meet out for, uh, for some lunch or maybe you meet out or you meet in town and they say, oh, guy. Uh, it's been long. Uh, have these a thousand bob, have these five thousand Kenyan shillings, and go have some uh, something to to drink. Uh, go out, buy yourself some drink. You see. So this is extra money. When I when I talk about extra money, this is the money that you had no plans with. This is the kind of money that uh, you are never expecting. So if you save this money, there is no drawings. There is nothing. It's it's just adding you up for your future use. All right. So how about you just ignore and say like, okay. I wasn't expecting this money. I had no plans for this money. I never allocated this money anywhere. So if you save this money, of course, this is a great, a great addition. It's a great value uh, uh, addition uh, to your savings. What do you think about that? So this is saving extra money. The money you get from friends, maybe you can always, if you're given a thousand bob, maybe just spend 200 shillings and uh, save the, the, the rest, save 800 shillings. And of course, this is the money that you never expected. So this is not going to temper with your plans. This is not going to affect you anyway negatively, unless umefinua in a way that maybe you don't have food, maybe things of that sort. Because I know so many of us have problems saving. Me, I've always had this problem saving. And this is one of the ways that I used to save my own money you see uh, apart from the money i get from my own business my own job then this is extra money that i get to save so now uh the other thing is about uh paying yourself in your own business now uh this is this is this is a great uh this is a great task by the way this is a, uh, a great idea because now when you when you talk about paying yourself in your own business uh this will give you a good balance in your business finances what do you think about this so uh how about you determine the amount of money that you should pay yourself in your own business Leave alone the profits, leave alone this and that. Of course, it will be determined by the, the amount of money you make, the amount of money that uh, uh, goes to the employees maybe for, the co for their compensation. But then, how about you pay yourself some amount of money, you say, uh, by the end of the month, I'm going to pay myself 50,000 cash links. That's my own salary from your own business. Leave alone the, the, the profits, all right? And uh, now, uh, when you talk about, about this, there are some things that you need to consider. For example, if you have your own premises, uh, let's say uh, wh wherever your business is located, you rent the place or maybe uh, you own the premises. If you own the premises, one of the things that will keep you on the floor is paying your own rent. How about you say, okay, I don't this, assume that I don't own this place, I don't own this premises, and maybe uh, I should be paying 15000 myself. So how about you You know by the end of the, uh, the month, if your manager is there, if you are the manager yourself, and you say, okay, by the end of the month, I, have to, I must pay 15000 for this rent. Of course you are paying yourself, but then... This will keep your business on the floor and make it a must that Lazima ni jilipe. Lazima, I have to, I must pay this kind of money. I must pay myself like a 10,000 for rent. And you know, if you put it as a must, assume that the premises does, doesn't belong to you. Of course, you are paying yourself, but then assume that it doesn't belong to you. And if you assume this and you say this, uh, then you you will find yourself making it, 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 working harder, working harder for you to pay the rent. Of course, you're paying yourself, but then you have to work harder to pay this rent because you put it as a must for you to pay this rent. How do you think? Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, another thing is buying from your own business. Well, we make a hotel pale. You have a hotel, and uh, if you have an hotel, unaenda pale unasema ni tengenezo kuku for lunch. How about you think of it? Kuku sahi, maybe say, let's say it's 800 shillings full chicken. How about you just pay the amount that you just spent? 
you return it to the business. This will give the business a very good flow. If you don't do that, I'm sure so many people do that. But then, how about you do that if you don't do that? If you're going to start a business, of course, this is something that you need. Mm -hmm. How about you pay yourself uh, like you, you buy from your own business? Buy from my own business. If I... If I if I, 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 I do, like, uh, I do, you, you own a salon. How about ukitengerezo nyuele? Pay the employees. Pay the person who made your hair. What do you think about that? This will give you a good flow of the business. You will know what amount you've made. You know uh, what to compensate your employees. Because when when you, you, you have spent, of course. But then the money is coming back to you. But then it compared to a good flow of your business. What do you think that of that? Mm -hmm. The other thing is to avoid the family and friends in your business family is not business so now mtu akikuja useme eh huyu ni familia wacha apikiwe kachai this is bringing so many drawings with drawers in the business huyu apikiwe kachai huyu ni rafiki yangu apewe kuku if ni rafiki yako and they have to pay if they can't pay then make sure that you pay the money because this will give you a good flow of the of the business this is buying from your own business this is paying you pay yourself from your own business and you buy from your own business and you'll give yourself a very good flow na itakuwa ngumu sana for you to fail in your business what do you think about that wewe unafikiria namna gani this is a very good tip that i thought of and i've been talking to uh, different pr friends about this so what do you think about that if you like the video if you like the ideas if you if you like uh, you like the tips pr please make sure that you subscribe to rongo online tv uh, maybe you can subscribe uh, you can comment leave a comment uh, like and share and of course we are at a thousand subscribers thank you so much guys and uh, i'm a, i'm appreciative and i'm humbled to have you guys this is peter peter mwangangi of course thank you so much